What's up, my be lovelies? What's up, my be lovelies? I got sounds. Smell delicious. Mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You guys, today I am trying Pot Pie's new Cajun flounder fish sandwich. And I got a chicken sandwich here and I got some chicken, of course, with some sauce. And I got some sauerkraut on the side and some coleslaw and mashed potatoes. I'm not going to get to all of that, but we're going to see what it do. Okay, let me say grace. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, and say amen again. So this is the fish sandwich, you guys. Well, you actually, let me do my thumbnail first. Because I want to taste it, but I, have, I brought two of them. I brought a chicken one and a, a two of these, but I know I'm not gonna eat them all, so I I put I didn't get all of them here. So this is the fish, y'all see? It has pickles on it and a sauce. It's crispy and it's pretty big, pretty pretty big. Shout out to Favors by Dame Dash. He the one told me about this and I got it right away. So I know it just now. Oh, I should have did that. I should have tasted it first, right? <laughs> My bad, y'all. I'll taste the other part. I'm going to taste this part first. I don't know. It's spicy. I'm going to say That was a better bite. That was a better bite. It's good because I taste more fish. I think what I got was a lot of crust, but it's good. It's really good, y'all. Let me bring this up because it's going to be juicy. And this is going to be crazy. Mmm. 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 Ooh, this stuff is spicy. Mm. This is a big sandwich, y'all. Mm. I think what I would have done is added more um, spices. I mean, not spices. Um, tartar. I'm gonna add some coleslaw on top of this, y'all. Yeah, I know, y'all. Y'all think I'm crazy, but you know, I like coleslaw on my fish. Mmm. It's actually good on there. Mmm. Mm hmm. Don't get twisted. They're good, and they're big, so you get your definitely get your money as well. Mhm. Mm so one will be enough. Get you some French fries with. They got some pickles on it. Mhm. Mm I'm trying to dump it with the my coleslaw on it, but mm. 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 Stuff's hot, hot. Mm. Mm. But good. Mm. Mm -mm. Y'all know I had to give me some chicken. 
I got the coldest water bottle in the building. If you want free shipping, all you gotta do is say water break. Water, 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 water break. <laughs> That water is good and cold. Oh, good and cold. Okay, got some chicken. I got some chicken here. I just decided to uh, put the chicken in my sauce. Ooh, I want to burp. Oh, excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that heating up. Mmm. 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 -hmm. I'm gonna some sour crab here, y'all. Got my husband cut. Mmm. 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 It was hot. Mmm. I ain't done like some fresh chicken, y'all. Mmm. 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 That's crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm. Mm. The trick is, y'all, you gotta put this back in the um air fryer. Mm. Mm hmm. So you can get that real crunch. And it's hot. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's still heating up, y'all. Mm-hmm. So what y'all going tomorrow for Valentine's Day? Man, when I tell y'all, every place is booked. Like, restaurant, and you open, and your city is open. Mmm. You have no chance. Don't even try it. Especially if you're trying to make reservations. It's a done deal. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Anyway, because I tried, well, we tried, y'all, um, last week to book stuff, and stuff was already booked. They said it was so packed every day. One steak restaurant me and my husband went to to eat the other night, and they were like, they got 500 on Friday, on tonight, 500 on Saturday, and 500 on Sunday. I was like, danger. They are book, book. No, no, 500 on Friday, 500 on Saturday, 600 on Sunday. Mmm. Mmm.
Mm. Mm hmm. It's hot. Yeah, I'm talking about hot is the heat and the hot and the spice. Mmm. 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 But the crunch is so good, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. That water so good. So yeah, let me know what y'all doing. Did y'all make it in time to make reservations? Cause shoot, we didn't. I'm like, shoot, I don't know. I just said we may go to the range and that's about it. Or um, you always can get it to go to happen and you have the meal at home with some candlelight Maybe have a bubble bath with some um rose petals and stuff like that. Some wine. Cause at this point, y'all, these restaurants are booked. Booked and busy. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of y'all run into that problem. Mm. I'm not being able to find somewhere to eat. But it's okay. Watch some movies. Oh, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Y'all need to watch this movie called Stock Option. Stock, S-T-O-C-K, Option, O-P-T-I-O-N. Ooh, I want a belt so bad. Ooh. Y'all, that is so good. And it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Um, watch the version that has an hour and 10, hour and 19 minutes. Because the other one was kind of in and out. And it didn't have all the, the uh, parts in it. It was like muted on some parts. So watch the one that says stock option. And it has a hun an hour and 19 minutes. Y'all, that is so good. It's a tearjerker. It is a tear jerker, y'all. It's so emotional. You can get it very, very emotional. It's so good. If y'all need to watch that as a couple, that's a good movie to watch together as a um, you know, as your spouse, with your spouse, with your partner. Very good. So. If you ain't got nothing to do, don't worry. Just be at home. Watch movies. Me and my husband love watching movies. You know? Maybe go to one of those restaurants that don't require you to make a reservation. And go early because you know it's going to be a line. And then enjoy the rest of the day just chilling, relaxing. Join enjoying each other company. Watch a few movies. Marathon. If you ain't got uh, you know, something like uh what you call them? 
Hulu Plus. I know everybody got Hulu Plus and all that. But anyways, if not, just watch Lifetime. Lifetime got movie after movie after movie. If you can't watch Lifetime, watch YouTube. YouTube got so many movies. It's free. And Lifetime movies. So y'all can see it. You know what I'm saying? No worries. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, me and my husband is going to celebrate. Celebrate our um, Valentine's Day in Miami. It's going to be kind of late later, but better late than never. It's only because we got... Things that we gotta take care of here first. And then we go out, you know? Mmm. Some of the chicken I'm saving for later. Y'all, it's been hard to eat one day a week. I don't know. It's been hard to eat that one time. A day, I be trying, and I'm like, man, I'm hungry. Me, I like when I eat, I be like, man, I'm so hungry. I gotta eat something. Eat something. So what I did is just I brought me some pears and what was it about pears? What if oh apples, pears, and I think that's it. I thought I bought some um, plums. I tried to, but I couldn't get them. But that's what I did. I think I'm gonna eat one more piece of chicken and then I'm eat this sauerkraut. Because that eating that um Oh, but this this chicken is good. Eating that um sandwich it made me full is that bread. Mm. Mm. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put this chicken in that box. I got a box right here. I put the chicken in. Ah. I'm gonna refrigerate it. Yep, but yeah. I ain't gonna try to get y'all a story away, but watch stock option, y'all. Stock option. It's gonna be so good. One of the ladies already wrote me and said, Girl, that movie was so good because I announced it on my um live. Y'all. Movie to buy. This was so good. Good and cold. Who's that to say? This is so good and cold. That was uh, Sam's World. So good and cold. Sam's World. Sam, 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 Sam's World. I'm gonna put some water in here, y'all. This is some good stuff. Now I'm gonna eat some sauerkraut because that'll work out for me. I'm not completely full. I gotta add some more water in that. I'm not completely full, but I'm satisfied, getting satisfied. Now, there you go. There you have it. Hey, hey. Whew. Okay, so now I want to eat some more. I, I, I like this. I want some more of this sauce, but I should put some of this in my sauerkraut. Yeah, I'm clearing this off. Yeah. I ain't even bite my chicken. Sandwich. Sandwich. I call it a sandwich. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but I call it a sandwich. 
Sandwich, sandwich. Sandwich, mamich. Mamich, sandwich. Okay, I ate three pieces of chicken. Or, yeah, three pieces of chicken. I don't eat the biscuits, y'all. Don't get mad at me. I don't do a lot of breading. I do some bread, but I am not a fan of bread like that. This is a good thing. Somewhat a good thing, y'all. Okay, so. Look, this is my sauerkraut. <laughs> I got some sauerkraut. How many people like sauerkraut? Mmm. Mmm. And it's sour too. And now I gotta get some hot sauce. Gotta get my hot sauce. Oh yeah. Okay, so y'all. With the hot sauce, okay. I found my hot sauce manufacturer company. And the thing is that I'm running against is I only found one. But there are several ones out in California, located in California. But the problem is a lot of them are not accepting new businesses right now because of the COVID-19. So I'm running into that problem. That's number one because you never pick. You got to have several ones you need to pick up, pick from like your manufacturing company. That's how I did with my sauce. I have to pick the best one. And this one, this manufacturing company that I did get in contact with, I gave them the ingredients of what my sauce was. Some of them they did not, some of the thing, uh, items they did not have. And not only that, they want, they don't do fresh peppers. So they don't have any fresh ingredients. Whereas some hot sauce places has that, you know, have fresh ingredients. So I'm gonna have to put that on hold until I find someone that gives fresh ingredients. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I'm waiting for. But my garlic butter is is in um it's gonna be going to production very, very, very soon. Very, very soon. Within this month. So it will be going in production, y'all. So you guys will, I will let you guys know when it's be done. It's going to take a while, y'all. It takes time for something like this. But I promise y'all, I promise you, when I tell you, I know for a fact that you guys are going to like a lot. Some, a lot of y'all going to be like, oh, I love the, love the garlic butter over the Cajun butter. Because it just hits different. It's just different flavor. And it's garlicky. Mmm. And it's all about, mmm. I like that vinegary taste, y'all. It's all about how much, um, how much, what am I going to say? How much garlic you put in. Like, some people add a lot of garlic. People love, 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 love garlic. I mean, garlic freaks. I, I I know people that love garlic so much. They will eat garlic all day, every day. Peel it, cook it, fry and just eat them, fry them, and eat them whole. The little, you know, the bulbs. I'm 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 a type of person. You can put either. That's why I said on there. I'm I'm gonna put on there that you can add either a cup of garlic, minced garlic. The 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 uh the you buy the garlic that's already peeled. So you can buy the garlic already peeled and you just mince it yourself. That's the better type of garlic to put in this. Or you can use the minced garlic that's already minced if you can't do the, because you don't have a processor to be able to mince it at home. I understand. So you got to do what you got to do. But it tastes better with fresh garlic, y'all. And you can use one cup or two cups or do whatever you want because some people love garlic, I promise you. It's a lot of people look And this thing is garlicky. Uh, more garlic you put in. But better and it's very, very flavorful. Extremely flavorful. And I put, I put it so it's not spicy at all, y'all. It just have a hint of pepper, a pepper tingling taste, you know, at the end, just to give a little like, okay, or something. Cause I'm a type of person that don't like, I like something like my husband's like, it needs something like of a ting or something. So we added uh, pepper. Well, I have my manufacturer add pepper. And it worked. And of course, let it sit overnight. I always tell people that 
And people have always, always, always testified that it is so much better the second, third, fourth day on and on. The longer it marinates, the better it tastes. And that's with anything, so that's just normal. Even when you cook something, you gotta let them flavors marinate. Whew. That was hot. But hot heat is good for your metabolism. And I don't get ulcers, 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 ulcers. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm like, I think ulcers. I don't get ulcers. Never had those. And, um, what is that? Did you get hemorrhoids from eating hot stuff? I never had those either. But, I don't know because I've eaten, been eating hot sauce a long time. Some people said that has changed too. That it could change. My body can change. And I believe that because my body has changed from gaining from weight. I used to drop. Y'all, I did drop weight like that. It's just in my family. My mom, my brother, we can eat and we ain't gaining like that. That's why my, my husband, I was like, okay, I see you and your brother. We be eating. He like, dang, all my mom, we can eat regular food. We can eat, uh, every, you know, and then we won't gain a lot. You can see a little different, but not a big difference. <coughs> or my dad. It's just not that, you know, in front of my family. But, show. Man, that mom doctor told me about that perimenopause. You're gonna be it. And she said we gain weight bigger in our um in our top area. Like on top of our stomach, that's where it she said it's called versatile fat or something like that. Vert vert versatile fat or something like that. <laughs> Start with a V. I know somebody somebody know what I'm talking about. And they said it gains all right there, or you can gain in other places, and it's but it's harder to get off. I promise you. I was like 135, then went up to 137, no, 135 for two days, went back up to one, two more pounds. I'm like, danger. When I used to lose weight, if I, if I go eat one once a day, I can go down. I'll literally wake up a pound lighter. No, baby. I can just say, okay, if I eat once a day, I lose weight. But next day, if I eat two meals and say, man, I'm hungry, I just got to eat something, I'm my way to go right back up. I'm like, dad. This is not working like it used to work. <clears throat> so, it is what it is. And you know, I think too, it's because I'm not as active as I was. Before COVID, I was going everywhere. I didn't have time to think about, if I ate, I ate on that video, and I was boom, gone, 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 gone. Sometimes my first meal would be at seven o'clock at night. That's when it, on the days that I did not record, it would be my first meal, and I'll hurry up and eat something. Especially if it's not on camera, I don't eat or have have a big thing in front of me, so I'm just eating and going, eating and going, and I'm going. I'm working, I mean, all day long, or traveling all day long. Sometimes I have to go from the east coast to the west coast, east coast to the, to the west coast. Travel, 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 travel. It was crazy, insane, but. Now it's like COVID. They say they call it the COVID 20. Because everybody's gaining over 20 something pounds or more on this COVID thing. Please share some of y'all experiences. Especially the older women. Of what y'all do for weight loss. I know one thing y'all tell me. Stop eating that fried chicken. Stop eating that 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 thing. Stop eating that butter. Stop eating that boo boo boo. I ain't gonna stop eating that though. But see this, when I do my butters, y'all, I really do liquidity down all the way. I'm telling you, when I tell you, even though I put four, six butters in one serving, this stuff is gonna last me literally months because I don't eat all my stuff and I dilute it all the time. I'm always diluting it with the uh with the chicken broth. I'm diluting mine is very thin and it gets thicker it's thicker because of you adding the um I add Sprite to no Sprite Coke. Coca-Cola Sprite I add into the garlic but Coca-Cola to this and mostly chicken broth. Or oh, you can add, I had mostly water, but that dilutes it down a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And and I noticed that too because 
I know the difference when before I used to only make use a cup of chicken broth, whereas right now I use as much as I can to thin it out for myself because I eat it a lot and it dilutes a lot, so you don't get all the intake in. I think I eat more, but more of uh, my sauce than a lot of people when I'm when I'm eating it at one serving because my sauce can go down all the way down to half real quick if I'm hungry, if I'm eating a lot. So oh it's gonna cut off. Mm. Thank you. Y'all, I cut off right there quick. It ain't sitting like 30 minutes. I guess y'all keeping me copy. That's what it is. Why you sitting there? What? Why you sitting there? I think you be done soon. No. Well, you know what? You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You gotta count your blessings. <laughs> I know that part version. I know it's supposed to be something else. You gotta know when walk with money, get a count your money. They said they said it's a gambling song. But I thought Dolly Mur what's her name? Dolly <coughs> What's her name, baby? Dolly Parker? Dolly, I don't know her name. Country singer. The lady, y'all know. And I don't even know, I can't even think of her name right off my tongue. Y'all know I'm, I be, my brain is mush. But anyways, I don't know, Dolly, I forget her name. Y'all know who I'm talking about, though. Anyway, she sings country, but I think she sings the Christian version. There's a Christian version to that, I promise you. You gotta count your blessings. But that's a good song. I am gonna let y'all go. Cause I'm full. I just take on dog. Now I'm full. But see, I'm gonna finish my sauerkraut later on. I have some sauerkraut and some um piece of chicken. But I'm about to go. And I hope you guys enjoy your what is it called? Enjoy your Valentine's Day. Please enjoy yourselves. Be safe out there. Don't do nothing that I wouldn't do. There's a lot of stuff I wouldn't do. Just be safe out there, y'all. And just know, like I said, don't forget to watch Stock Option. Stock Option. I should have put that, said that in first, in the middle of the video, because sometimes people clicks off of the video but it's okay it's okay it's okay if you fast forward if they fast forward then they can see it they can see that i want them to Ooh. i'm gonna put this stuff in here this is my cleanup clean up clean up everybody everywhere clean up clean up everybody do your share do they still sing that song for the kids i used to love singing that song clean up Clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. <laughs> That's a classic. I, you can't get it all wrong with that. That is a classic. Do Barney still come on? Like Barney Egg. Oh goodness, that was the song. That was the video. I used to play that video over and over and over and over and over and over again. Cuckoo sits in the old gum tree. Mary, Mary, give it what? Cuckoo sits in the old gum tree. Mary, 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 the king is he. La, cuckoo bear, la, cuckoo bear, leave some there for me. I used to laugh, Barney. And he used to make that goofy laugh. I'm telling y'all, I am a care. I promise you, I love characters. And then I love Disney. I told my husband just today, we was at the bank, I said, I want to go to Disney World. But I said, they probably don't have no shows. You know, playing the shows that they play. Because that's what I go for. I have to watch Lion King at least twice. The show, the uh, actual um, show. The theater show. or well, the Broadway show. I have to do Lion King. I have to do Pocahontas. I have to do uh, Frozen. I love all of that stuff, y'all. I want to go now. 
And then I love um, New York Broadway shows. Aladdin. Oh, oh my goodness. Wicked. Me and Derek's going to have to go. When, it, uh, when, the, um, when we open back up, I'm going summer everywhere. Okay? Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. I'm gonna be at the rock concerts, the pop concerts, the, the R and B concert. I'm gonna be at everything, every man, as soon as it opens, I'm gonna be front row. I'm here. Cause y'all know it's gonna be crazy when we open back up. Everybody's gonna be going everywhere, spending that money. The economy is gonna be booming again. I mean, everybody's gonna be spending, 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 because the job's gonna be reopening. They're gonna need people to work. That's gonna be amazing. And that's why my husband was like, we need to go put some money into this and money into that. Because when it open back up, it's going to be like, boom. And he's so right. He's so right. Go invest in some, put some um, stocks in this, put some money in this stock, that stock, this stock, that stock. And then watch it goes up. It's going to go up. But yeah, y'all just can't wait for that to happen. Because right now it's like, blah, blah, blah. With the, uh, you know economy and stuff like that it's like we have taught we have learned to adapt but you still want to go back to normal you know what i'm saying you still want to go back to normal but holy they said probably 2022 we're gonna have some normalcy or maybe 2023 hopefully not 2023 even me saying 2023 sounds so so long long from now seems so far away but all I can say is we're blessed if we're breathing. We're blessed, you know, if we're able to breathe another day and survive. If, if those of you that have had COVID, you survived, that's a blessing. Um, those that have uh, lost loved ones, that's unfortunate because, you know, or lost anyone during this COVID thing. It's just been crazy, man. This is, this nothing like this has ever well, you know, they said the what was that thing that hit the Spanish flu? What is it? Was it was it called the Spanish flu? Or whatever that thing that hit, hit and and it killed so many people, millions. It was it millions. It was a lot of people that it killed, and I'm like, wow. And they didn't even have social media back then. So now it's like, whoo. And this vaccination shot, mm mm. I don't even understand it. I really don't understand that thing. I don't understand how you can, they want you to take the vaccination shot, but you still can get COVID. I don't understand it. I'm like, help me to understand. But at any rate, y'all, I just hope y'all have a blessed day tomorrow, blessed rest of the day. I know I've been just talking and talking, talking and talking with my mind. Stay on Jesus. <laughs> That's not how it go, y'all. But anyways, I had a nice time with y'all today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, the ones that watch. I love you guys so much. So, 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 so much. And I will be back on tomorrow with another video. Because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to have to get a nice, cute Valentine's Day background. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe I should have on red. Wear something red, red, red hair or something like that. Just to represent uh, Valentine's Day. But anyway, I don't even know what to eat. And it's hard to think about what you want to eat, what to eat when you already ate. <laughs> so that won't be, I won't worry about that until tomorrow. Yeah, but I love y'all. I'll see y'all. I know this is my eighth closing, but it's okay. It's okay, y'all. I'm enjoying, I'm telling you. I have been literally, really, really enjoying, you know, just being at home, relaxing, really being able to get my house, you know, decor redone. I have an electrician that's on his way over here right now. I was saying, I said, let me get this video done before they come in because I know they're going to be drilling. They, they're going to be in my dining room, my formal. Yeah, my former dining room, hanging up my chandelier, and it is huge. This thing is he he huge, y'all. And we already removed my husband already removed the other chandelier from that was in there. It was, uh, and he put it in my dining area, kitchen dining room. 
So I, 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 that was done, and it was he successfully put that in, but he couldn't put that big one in. That the other one was too big. We got the lights um, delivered here, and we thought it was two sets of lights, but come to find out, it was only one set, and that was only for my um, dining room. So I have my chandelier that goes in my foyer area on the uh and my it's about a 25 foot ceiling it's huge it's always 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 at the top i don't know how they go i know they got special well the guy that that's installing now is gonna do the other one but the other one's not here yet and then y'all my bar is getting built my they start building my bar on monday our you know our bar bar downstairs they throwing they're pulling up the floor they're going to, you know, put uh, flooring down, uh, mirrors, countertops. It's going to be bomb. I can't wait to show y'all. I just can't wait and everything's done. The, the little things, the little stuff that has came in, I'm so, so appreciative that it came in. Y'all don't even understand how long we've been waiting for this stuff through COVID. And then when I was traveling, I couldn't hardly be here to get the get this thing done. And I wanted my stuff to, uh, actually delivered all at once because... It was too much. I know a lot of y'all was like, is she getting our house done? Is she? Y'all, we had been, let me tell you something. This has been planned for so, a long, long time. Those of you that have been following me a long, long time, we have already paid for stuff. Everything has been paid for. It's just that it's just been sitting or they run out of this item and then they got to get this done. And it, it's just so much. So you guys that are getting, that have moved or getting your house done or doing interior design, y'all understand what we're facing in the time that we're in but mo uh, stuff coming in little by little i think everything should be in by the end of march um and then i'm gonna fly uh, my interior design out here designer out here for probably a week or so so that every room every room is completed and have everything in it and then we're going to hire a professional production company to do a literally do a cribs type of video of how the house looks because i owe y'all that because i'm telling y'all y'all been waiting and waiting and waiting. i'm talking about for my uh devout supporters that really really rock with us y'all been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting I'm like hey, B, i can't wait to see it so i'm waiting for all of my blinds and my stuff and my theater stuff we're gonna have it all on the control for um system and listen, if y'all think that I'm bragging, I'm not bragging. I'm just talking to the people that that knows me. I'm not bragging. I'm just doing things. I'm very grateful for what I have. So I'm just letting you guys know the updates that are coming. And this stuff will be getting done within the next six to eight weeks. We will have this stuff completed. Um, and... Hopefully, all the installments of my furniture will be here by that time. We just ordered our bed. We ordered a sleep number. And then that comes on the uh, in March, the beginning of March. They have gave us our delivery date already for that. But my bed set hasn't came in yet. And then I have chairs and a whole furniture set going in my bedroom. And mirrors and pictures and councils and all this stuff. So all that stuff will be a reveal as well. Then we have some work done in our bathroom. Some um, upgrades in our bathroom. It's not, they're not really doing a lot. But they're just making it so it can be more like a pop of, you know, a little more like trimmings and different things like that. So that's going to be a reveal. Um, and then I'm gonna have, I think my closet is gonna be the last thing that's done. I may work on that, I don't know, because um, my interior designer told me to get a, uh, a person I call a place that does closet closets and they'll give me little uh areas because my closet is not that big. But I, what I'm doing is I am about to go into my closet within the next month or two and I'm going to start taking all of the stuff that I do not wear, taking it off the hangers. It's already cleaned. I just have to put it, I'm going to give it to the Goodwill or the Salvation Army, drop it off. Because I used to do that all the time, every, you know, but it must, I've been so gone and really ain't thought about it, but I need to get that done. I need to get away all of that stuff. I just gave my girlfriend a whole bunch of bras, y'all. 
a whole but I they I promise you that girl went came, came to my house went away took about 30 bras with her I promise you and some of them half of them was new because I couldn't even wear them because that's when I was a triple D and so yeah guy yeah, gave her the bra she was very grateful for that it was a lot of them too but I have to get rid of all of those a lot of clothes y'all a lot of clothes but it's gonna free up some space for me and a lot of my stuff I take to the cleaners and then when I take a cleaner run and it brings it back, it's just somehow, I'm like, where do these clothes go? But I got them out, somehow got them out my closet, but I don't understand how I got on the closet. And, one, and let me tell you why it made me, made me make that decision because I have my shoes in the plastic bins and these plastic shoe boxes. And man, one day I went in there, I got me an outfit and I was like, okay, took it off the hanger. And I'll be, I'm sure I got a little, little, uh, stool step stools in my closet so i goes up and i'm getting it i don't know what happened but i think my railing is getting too it's too many clothes on there because it made the railing tilt just a tidbit tad bit of a tilt because of the the heaviness of the clothes man like four or five pairs of my shoes just slid on right off so i'm like oh man that's an indication of that. I got too many clothes. And I got clothes everywhere dispersed on every room and every closet. It's just filled. No, what I'm gonna do is literally go all, all through all, everything and then try to try to put everything in one closet and maybe I can work with that and not try to put so much in one closet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's bad. It has gotten bad, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's about it, y'all. But I just can't wait for my house to get done. Cause it's been so long. And I know you're like, girl, a girl, what is going on? Listen, y'all, I'm trying to be patient, too. Y'all don't even understand. My husband was so close to be like, man, I'm just going to go out and buy me a uh, furniture set. I just want to have a table. I just want to have this. I'm like, baby, you have to be patient. It's been, it, you have to be patient, honey. I have to tell him that, cause man. So, but yeah, oh yeah, and then the uh my Atlanta apartment is done. So you guys will see a tour on that right away. Real, 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 real soon. My Atlanta apartment is already furnished and everything. The only thing that we were waiting for are pillows. That'll be by that time to come when the pillows come. Um, and that'll be it should have another couple of weeks or so. Our pillows is done. Our drapery is done there, and then our shower curtain is done because we got our shower curtain made as well for the colors to make the colors come in from the apartment. And so that is done. And then I got two pictures that I want to hang in there that I brought from Ashley Furniture that um, that we bought. So we're going to give a tour of the apartment and show y'all the studio and different things like that. So that's coming, of course. And then I think that's it. Yeah, like I said, we're going to get a production team out here to do professionally, uh, do our house tour. And then we're also going to have my um, interior designer. She's going to be able to do some a house tour too because I don't know what none of this stuff is called. She knows how to break it down. This is her field. She knows how to break it down, what this is, what type of... Uh, uh fabric it is down to the snakeskin leather down to the flowers down to the console down to i said couch and she, she tells us it's not a couch it's called a this it like okay i don't know what that is she calls it all types so she has all types of names for things and i don't know what that is but i'm like oh okay because if it, you get a tour from me i'm like this is a couch this is my couch. This is my table. This is uh, some flowers. This is, she's very detailed. So I like that about her. She's very detailed. And I like the fact that everything that um, has been picked, she will give us three or four choices. And I'll either tell her I like all like the selection or I don't like the selection. And then she'll go back out there to try to find something that's more up my speed. Because I'm more of like more of a contemporary girl. Con I like a contem contemporary furniture, more something, 
that's probably a little bit uniquer than a lot of people that will have. So I like that type of look. And y'all know I love crystals. Crystals, mirrors, diamonds, all that stuff. Yeah, I like all of that. So my chandelier shows that it's very, very, uh, my stuff have to be shiny or something, something unique, something that's going to pop. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like. I like stuff like that. But um, for the most part, we have found a lot of stuff that fits the house. And y'all, we ain't going nowhere for a long time. Then I think this is going to be my forever home. And I'll leave it to my kids or something. Because I'm like, I don't like moving. I hate moving. I hate moving and I hate, um, um, I just hate moving. I hate moving. So in, within another three years, my house will be fully paid off, which is a good thing. My house will be fully paid off uh, because we be doubling up, tripling up on payments. And so we can get this, you know, out of the way and kill a lot of that interest. So I think that that's by that time, I don't know. I don't think I would want to sell anything. I just really won't because I feel that we put so much time and, you know, we're just now getting settled in. And then my my pool comes the end of this, like around August, they start building my pool. So it's going to be a lot of upgrades, y'all. And I can't, I'm so excited. Can't wait to show y'all because I ain't going to want to go nowhere. I really don't want to go nowhere now because I like the fact that I have my furniture. I used to sit there and watch the movie the other day. It was very, very comfortable. Sometimes I don't I don't be there all the time, but my husband likes to go in the theater room better, more so. And I'm just like, I it's okay down there, but shoot, I like to be cozy and warm. The best place to me is in my bedroom, so I can sit and be cold, be under the cover. Y'all know how that is. You know, you want to be just so so comfortable. But y'all, I'm, I'm tired of talking now. I'm gone for real, for real, for real, because I'm getting tired. You know, the food is settling. That's what it is. The food gets settled, and then your body like, oh. Yeah, I'm at that point. And I pretty much cleaned up. And as you can see, I just got to put things up. I'm not going to eat the sauerkraut because my food have very much settled. It takes time for my food to settle. And now that it's settled, it's like my body saying, you are full. You're not eating anything else. You're not. I'm going to put this sauce up. This sauce is going to get ate. It's going to get ate. You hear me? I have coleslaw right here. A whole thing coleslaw. And I have mashed potatoes. How many people like uh, Popeye's mashed potato? That mashed potato is bomb. Especially when you get more gravy. I always ask for extra gravy. Extra gravy in those potatoes? They give me extra side of gravy. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Also, KFC got some bomb potatoes. Potato soup. And gravy. Potatoes and gravy, they bomb. Um, I think Church's Chicken got some good gravy too. I I ain't really had no really bad bad experiences with the uh, potato salad but when it comes down to coleslaw hands down KFC KFC got my vote any day and every day I promise you if I if it was left up to me I will always go get KFC if KFC was close to me I would be getting a coleslaw and then getting you know mashed potatoes from somewhere else or whatever I can't stand KFC biscuits oh my god them things are bricks if it was left up to me I would choose Actually, I would choose churches. Church's chicken biscuits is better. Then comes Popeyes, and then comes KFC. That in that order. In that order. Who used to say that? In that order. I forgot her name. She's on Love and Hip Hop. This stuff is so good, y'all. Y'all know what y'all miss when y'all got water in y'all lives. What time is it? I'm almost kept y'all an hour. Y'all ain't gonna wanna see this video. I'm gonna be like, which I don't. I don't blame you. You be like, man, this been a whole hour. Is you crazy? Is you crazy? Is you crazy? I'm gonna drink more. I'm gonna drink on this water all day. Maybe not. Cause y'all by tomorrow, look, I'm putting water here. I promise you tomorrow. I still got ice in here. Tomorrow. There will be still water, still um, cold water in this thing. I promise you. That's how well this thing works. It'll be water in here tomorrow. Y'all better go get y'all one. I'm telling you, it is bomb. See, the problem is I don't feel like getting up. 
Nate! I'm gonna have my husband turn off for me. I'm gonna get my nails done too. My nails are gonna get done this week, y'all. Because I'm going to Miami and I want them just to be done. Because I didn't have them like this for a long But I tell you, when I tell you, I can pick up anything, eat anything. I like eating with my fingers. Like eating that African food was so easy to do because my nails weren't done. Because what if I had my long nails? It was like so hard to pick up and eat and scoop. So that was a very good experience. I do want to do that again. I think I'm going to go to, when I go to Atlanta, I'm going to try some African restaurants out there as well as Haitian restaurants. They have Ethiopian restaurants. They have a lot of ethnic restaurants out there. Like a lot of different variety of uh, restaurants. And then I just downloaded this thing called 50, 50 Best Black Restaurants in the 50 most popular restaurants in Atlanta. They have the 50, the top 50. And I had, it's a lot of, lot of good restaurants on there. And this by bet, this being Black History Month, I'm gonna try to go to a lot of them when I get, I just gotta be on myself. Okay, every day, go here, go there, there, go there, go there, go there. You know, every day, I gotta pick the restaurant, know when the restaurant's open, because I like to get to the restaurant when it opens. Like, literally. Like, I'll be sitting there five minutes before they even say, put the open sign on. That's how early I want to be because I want to be able to place that order. And I know the food is fresh, hot, and ready to go, okay? Fresh and hot. Usually, typically, I don't tell them who I am or what I'm doing unless I know that, that I have to go far, far away. And I'm just like, please make it fresh. Make it super hot. Because by the time I get to my house, it still be warm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes if it's like a 20-minute drive, 25 minutes, it still be hot. Especially when you do stuff like Chinese food or something like a soup or something that has to, you know, a rice or something like that. That stuff still be hot when you, um, when you finna get home. You know what I'm saying? But if it's something like a burger, you can hang it up. That stuff is cold by the time you get up, you get home. Or a taco. Because once you put the, the cold stuff on it, the cold stuff makes it, it makes it cold. So, I try to tell them that. But other than that, so far, so good. I be telling my people that, get, that do mukbangs, I'm like, y'all better tell them who you want to be like, listen, I'm going to do a video. Because they have had some bad experiences where people give them some cold food, food that's not good. You let them know. Listen, sometimes you got to go in for the fast food restaurant and tell them, um, do you mind? I, I wanna, I'm, I'm going to do a video on your, on your, um, on your restaurant. And I want to know if you can get this, make this to order. I want this to be hot, that to be hot. And they will do it. You talk to my manager, they'll do it. They'll be happy to do it. But I have been getting some good things. Like Trinity, they didn't even know who I was. I didn't even tell them who I was. But they really made that food fresh, hot, and it was amazing. But you have to wait for a while. But I don't care about waiting as long as my food is fresh. Y'all might as well keep y'all to these last three minutes. I know right now, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Maybe the dog is watching me. Maybe the cat is watching me right now. Maybe I got a baby watching me. But... <laughs> I need somebody to watch me right now because right now I feel like, okay, babe, Bethany, you know, ain't nobody watching to this end because this is a long video. And usually when I have long videos, he'd be like, peace out, B. You ain't eating, sister. Because when I'm not eating, you know, it's not really because I know most of my audience want to see the eating or eating or it's either the seafood. Because every time I see people, my supporters out. They be saying, we want to see seafood, seafood, seafood. I'm like, yeah, okay. I need some more seafood. But lately, I've been doing other stuff. And I'm fine with that. You know, just something different so for some of y'all to see. I'm going to go back to seafood here and there. Um, I did do a, a makeup video. And... Which... I'm going, I don't know if I'm going to do another. I'm going to do another video once, maybe every two months or something. for make a video. Make a video. I'm going to do a video with... Um, me opening up gifts and um I don't know if I should make those videos um on the days that I'm not recording or what because I know everybody don't want to see that some people want to see the eating then some people don't want to stay want to see a certain type of eating but I do have cleaning I did a clean up cleaning video which I'm good I'm just gonna do a variety of things vlogs and maybe a tour of this tour of that something like that 
And because that's what makes me happy too. Because I like I don't have to eat all the time, so it it works out for me. You know, if it works out for you, and I know some of y'all enjoy that too. Because I see as long as I get some views, I'm fine. But y'all, I'm finna peace out because this thing's finna go off in like 40 seconds. I hope y'all enjoy yourselves on your Valentine's. But if you spend Valentine's, you don't have a, a sweetheart. Well, you might, everybody got a sweetheart. I don't care if it's their child, down to their mama, down to their brother, sister, whatever. And y'all have love for that person. You can, they can be your Valentine on that day. Because it doesn't have to be a person that you're intimate with. You know what I'm saying? So, I hope y'all enjoy y'all days and y'all can make the best of it. Even if you ain't got a little nothing but a little money, you still can make the best of it. Love y'all. Peace out. Peace, love, and hungry. Have a blessed day. Share and subscribe.